Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA car kits in the 2008 Lexus RX and today we're going to be installing our pure Bluetooth kit so we're going to start off with to what tools you're going to need you're going to need some sort of uh, panel removal tools you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket with an extension to get the radio out and uh, something small and thin in order first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this little piece right here so you can use a small screwdriver just pop it up and uh, make sure that you engage the foot brake because we're gonna put the car in neutral and you gotta make sure that it doesn't roll away anywhere then we're gonna take uh, this handle and we're just gonna turn it counterclockwise and remove it next thing we're gonna do is remove this uh, panel around the gear selector knob So you kind of have to get underneath with uh, something like the panel removal tools and it just comes off. So there's only four clips holding it, these yellow ones and to put it back you just clip it back in. And then there's this piece which you can just stick your hands underneath and pull it off. There's also one clip on this side and one clip on the other and we're just gonna put it to the side and like we mentioned earlier you're gonna need the 10 millimeter socket with an extension and we're gonna show you why so right away as you can see there's a 10 millimeter bolt right here there's also one right beside it and the ones that are kind of hard to get are the ones up and there, they're at, at an angle. So there's one on this side and one on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these four bolts right now. So once you remove the bolts, the radio is ready to come out, but first we're gonna show you what comes in the kit. So there's a harness cable which we have to plug into the back of the radio. There's auxiliary cable. Um, microphone which we're gonna wire all the way here in the A pillar and of course the main module where everything plugs in because this car has a navigation we also have to use a Y cable because the connection at the back of the radio is occupied and we're gonna show you so if you have a regular radio you're not gonna need this cable so we're just gonna remove the radio simply pull on it over here at the back there's this connection which we're gonna disconnect it looks like this it looks exactly like our Y cable so we're gonna take it and plug it in into one end of our Y cable then we're gonna plug in the Y cable at the back of the radio so like I said if you don't have navigation you would not use this Y cable you would just take the harness from our kit and just plug it in straight because the connection would be free and not occupied but because this car has Navi, we're going to use the Y cable, just like that. So that's the first step to plug in the harness at the back of the radio. Then you can uh, plug in the harness to the module. The next step, we're going to show you how to wire the microphone all the way over here to the A pillar. And as you can see there are slots where you have to plug in the cable so auxiliary cable we're actually going to wire to the glove box there's also an optional uh, usb charging port where you can wire your usb cable along with the auxiliary and microphone there's a slot for it to plug in into this corner so in order to fish the microphone first thing we gotta do is we gotta remove this uh, panel underneath the steering wheel and it's just held on clips so you just have to pull on it and it uh, comes down just like that as you can see there's already plenty of space just to feed the wire to the back and now we're gonna show you how to do everything with the door open so as you can see we showed you how to drop this panel down it just held on clips next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this rubber piece between the door and the interior and just pull it away in order to feed the wire in between here 
So we're gonna start from the top. We're gonna put the wire in so it's inside the car. And then we're just gonna feed the wire down. And when we're feeding it, we're gonna reattach the rubber piece. Make sure you take your time and tuck in the wire nicely. And then over here at the bottom, you have to get the cable behind the dash so you can keep feeding it all the way to the back of the radio. So as you can see, once you finish this step, you can just put the rubber back and the wire is hidden and now the wire is on the inside so we're just gonna fish it a little bit more so we're gonna fish it behind this metal panel and then and then you have it all the way here and now we're gonna show you how to do it over here in the middle so but the final step uh, for this wire over here is to get it at the back of the radio so we can plug it into our module and it's quite easy you just have to move the radio out of the way and use your fingers and catch the wire on the inside so once you have the wire here because we fed it behind once you put this uh, panel back as you can see the wire is completely hidden all the way from the A pillar to the back of the radio, you can't see it. So now we're going to take our module and we're going to plug it in, uh, plug in this cable into the microphone slot. So one last thing before putting everything back and once you put everything back, the module is going to go here right behind the radio. Uh, so it's also hidden so the only thing you're going to see is the auxiliary cable and the microphone and if you choose to wire the charging cable. So the auxiliary cable, the best thing in this car would be to wire it into the glove box. So it's also not that hard, so we're just going to open the glove box. We're going to take our hands. And we're going to catch the wire on the inside, just like that. And also if you're, like I mentioned before, if you want to run the charging cable you can wire it the same way and then you can just lock the glove box you have the auxiliary and we're gonna put the auxiliary plug it in into our module so one last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck the module away behind the radio assemble everything and then we're gonna show you how everything works in this particular car so as you can see we assembled everything back and the only thing visible is the auxiliary cable and the microphone and the A pillar so we're gonna turn the car on to its accessory position so the radio turns on uh, so as you can see the CD and everything everything you have here will still work the same way so you can go to FM your CD so now once we install the kit with the at the back of the radio you get an extra option by pressing the this button twice so you get the CD1 option which you didn't have before and as you can see it's in disc 1 track 1 and the time starts rolling so we're gonna go into our first, uh, phone's Bluetooth and if you're gonna be using the same phone you can you only have to do it once and then every time you get inside your car it's gonna pair to it automatically so as you can see there's GTA car care right here that's it the Bluetooth has been paired so now we can go to our music without connecting any wires and stream uh, the music to the car's radio by Bluetooth as you can hear it's playing so you can control the tracks through the actual uh, radio and the steering wheel controls on this car so as you can see I can switch the music through the radio when it's paired by Bluetooth same with the steering wheel controls so right now we're gonna demonstrate that if somebody gives you a phone call So once somebody is giving you a call, the music is gonna pause and you gotta make sure you're in our kids mode. And to answer you have to press the next track button or you can actually answer through the phone. So we're gonna press next track, answers the phone. 
same to hang up and the music resumes playing so as you can see here there's uh, right now it says, says disc one so if you want to listen to the auxiliary you actually have to switch to disc two so there's only two discs there's one and there's two so in disc two is simple this is for the auxiliary connection you just plug it in turn up the volume and listen to the auxiliary so this is for the phones or devices that don't have Bluetooth and if you want to go back to Bluetooth we're gonna go to disc one press play and everything is playing by Bluetooth so it's pretty simple to use again this was a video for GTA car kits and Lexus RX I hope you liked our video and we'll see you next time